guys, this is the next episode of Rasta Stocks. And this is a topic I've been meaning to discuss for the past couple of days, right? But I really have the time to discuss it until now. Let's talk about generational wealth. Oh yeah, by the way, I am not a financial advisor. So please seek your own financial advice advisors okay all right on that note let's see it's something we as african americans should consider because you know the government allows you about 24 million dollars to pass to your successors and so on and so on and so on like a chain reaction you know so if you start it and you give it to your son your daughter they teach their kids and so on and so on and so on so that is a topic I feel like is very important for us Africans, Americans. A lot of us are not really on that, you know, or a lot of us don't really know it. Like, for instance, um, when family gets like extra money, they use it to buy gifts or buy, buy stuff they don't really normally have, you know, or stuff like that, which I get it, you know, because times are hard. They needed to spell, spend on bills and stuff like that, you know, so I get it. I get it. It's hard. But at the same time, I think we should really try to make the effort to like basically see how we could get generational wealth, you know, like perfect example. If you know how to like do hair or I don't know, paint paint houses, you know, fix cars or something, like use your skills to start a business so you could pass it down to your children, you know, and so on and so on, so that business stay in the family, you know? So that's a topic I I want to talk about. I'm going to get a little, little in-depth, little, little in-depth in it, but not too much. So, so basically what generational wealth is, which I just gave you guys two example of is passing down from one generation to the next, right? Um, you can leave behind, you know, like a notable amount uh, of your inheritance to your children, you know, descendants, and it continues for generation after generation. So, so your kids will teach their kids, et cetera, et cetera. If you guys get what I'm saying, you get me? All right, good. On that note, and another thing about generational wealth, you guys should consider, right? Like, I'll say, educate your kids on personal finance. You got to start them off young because if you don't start your kids off young, knowing this knowledge, you know, it's going to be rough and difficult for them. I wish when I was... Let's see, 17, 18, I got into the stock market earlier. But listen, never too late. I'm in it, so that's good. So personal finance is a key, okay? I repeat, personal finance is a topic you discuss with your children. All right, people? Personal finance, right? And another thing, you, I said this before, start a business so you can pass down, invest in real estate. You feel me? Educate your children. Make sure your children are educated. So that, you know, so they educate themselves so they can learn things, know how to do passive income to create generational wealth because the government allows up to $24 million to your heirs, successors, descendants, whatever. Feel me? So generational wealth is something we as Africans, American, need to take in consideration. You know, we need to have more black owned businesses. You know what I mean? Like we need to like step up to the next, step it up, man, step it up. 2020 should have taught you a lesson. You can't rely on one source of income, people. Okay, so we, we gotta teach our kids, teach our cousins, our aunties, our sisters, our brother, whoever is young. So they, they got to do 
They got to do better than us or teach them or learn yourself so you know you learn enough so they could learn. They could learn more than you so they could better the next generation and so on and so on. Feel me? Generational wealth is the key. Because listen, you have families out there struggling, man, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck. That paycheck to paycheck life is not nice. Trust me, I would know it. <laughs> Trust me, I would know what a paycheck to paycheck life is, you know? So, like, got to teach our young ones that generational wealth is something that's very much important because at the end of the day, you know that you say, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I had that, you know, but you got to make the effort, you got to be willing to make the sacrifice to do what you got to do. I'm willing to make that sacrifice, you know, that's why I take my time when I can, you know, I'll go to my little sister, you know, and I'll quiz her, pick her brain just to know what she needs, you know, just, just to see what, how much of an understanding she has. And also anything new I learn or anything new I'm in, I try to teach it to her. So hopefully one day she could grasp the knowledge of what, the knowledge and concept of what I'm saying and, you know, double it, better it, you know, like maybe teaches to her descendants and so on and so on. You get me? Because it's something that is very much important, you know? It's very much in person important. And also, I emphasize again on personal finance. I know it's a subject people don't like to talk about, but it's something you gotta talk about. You feel me? Like think of it look at it this way. The top elite in America, make sure the kids go to the best school so they can learn more than one skills. They teach their kids about the stock market, right? How to consistently make money within real estate, stocks, feel me? Bonds, you know, all other form of re re all, all forms of networking, you know what I mean? Collaborations with people. And they have resources and keys, access to financial advisors. Like regular people like me and you don't know. Or, or, or basically we can't afford. So this is why it should be up on ourselves, you know, as African Americans to educate ourselves the best way we can so we could pass on as much knowledge as we can. You know, so educate yourself if you don't have anybody to show you. Ask questions. Google is your best friend, you know, or if you know somebody that's in stocks or in real estate, pick their brain, ask them, let them know, hey, listen, I'm trying to come up with this idea. I need your opinion on it. Okay, so generational wealth is the next thing I want to work on, you know generational wealth or so passive income, generational wealth. Those are my two goals for the next two to three years. I'm trying my best to make those come to fruition, bring them to light. Okay, people, that's my goal. And that's my thoughts on generational wealth and my opinions. On that note, please like, comment, and subscribe so I could continue to push out this information so we could educate ourselves, educate our youth, you know, our brothers, sisters, aunties, and uncles. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And on that note, I will catch you on the next episode of Rasta Stocks. Hey.